Wine and grocery stores has returned to the state capitol. Yeah, more talk about this again this year. Today, hundreds of package store owners are urging lawmakers not to take away their business. Our chief political reporter, Susan Raff, is live at the legislative office building where a hearing was held today. Susan. Yes, Mark, the battle over wine continues, and once again, lawmakers are deciding whether or not grocery stores should be able to sell wine. This issue has come up time and time again, and every single time, package stores, owners come out in huge numbers here at the state capitol, hundreds of them today, to voice their opposition. And they've been able to convince lawmakers every time this comes up that this is bad for them and it will hurt their business. What is new somewhat this year is that support Supporters of this are saying a new poll, a poll by Yukon, shows more than 84% of Connecticut residents feel buying wine in a grocery store is not only convenient, but they want it. This is an issue that is publicly supported uh, more than the sale of cannabis, online betting, and early voting. Now, the Connecticut Food Association, which represents supermarkets in our state, definitely supports this, and they feel that many states, 42, they say, out of 50, but keep in mind, it's only in some form because some of those states don't sell or allow liquor stores to sell actual hard liquor. They allow them to sell wine in grocery stores, so it's really apples and apples or apples and oranges. However, a lot of states do allow um, liquor stores or whatever or wine to be sold in grocery stores and that is something that people want here in Connecticut. The bill that they're talking about now would allow Connecticut wines and small wineries to be able to sell those products in grocery stores and coming up on Eyewitness News at 6 you'll hear from the package stores, you'll also hear the argument from the wineries and why they feel this is the time to do this and whether this has any success this year or not. We are live tonight in Hartford, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.